how much can you take again from those other matchups against Von Miller and Demarcus Lawrence and those guys into you know going up against a lot? Him? It's really about getting off the ball. I think a lot of times uh, he beats guys off the snap. He's so explosive, gets guys turned, and whenever he gets tackles, uh, hips turned, and, and he does whatever he wants with them. Where do you put him in terms of the great pass rushers in the league? He's up there one or two. He's up there with Vaughn. Oh, yeah. How often is he over, uh, over the right tackle versus the left? He's mostly over the right. Uh, very seldom does he go over to the left tackle. Um, I think he's more comfortable with myself. Lane, you knew going into the season, this lineup of all these great edge rushers you were going to face, has that made you a better football player? Yeah, I think when you have to go against good competition, it elevates your game. So I knew coming in that my work was going to be cut out for me. So, um, you know, I just had my sights set on that in the offseason. And try to take it one game at a time during the season. Do you expect to see more structure? Yeah, Mac. I mean, I see a little bit, of, a little bit of both. Mostly Mac. He likes, he likes playing on my side. So, he's elite. He's up there right there with Von Miller. He's uh, supposed to get off. Uh, got, got good power. A variety of moves, a lot of moves. Um, so he's he's right there with Von. I mean, I don't know. Late, basically getting off the snap count, exploding off the ball, uh, try to beat those guys to the point of attack. Cause you see, you talk about defense fans having a great get off. They like to beat the tackle, and uh, you know ha have some leverage on them. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. About, you guys have a running back by committee kind of approach. Does that change anything for you guys? Or you Not at all. We're going to open the lane, and you guys yeah. figure out where to go. Yeah, it doesn't change anything from blocking standpoint. It's really we block our guys and they make our reads. So you know, every running back is you know styles a little bit different. I mean, I don't know who the last right tackle is that made it to the Pro Bowl. Do you know? Do you know? I don't know. I'm running. I saw, it's been a while, yeah. I mean, how's the field? To, I mean, I've played heat for Eagles, but it's been a while since anybody in the Yeah, NFL, I, think it's, I, think. I think the right tackle position needs to be reevaluated because uh, you go look at who the guys we got to block this, you know, right tackles have to block, you know, the key guys in the NFL now. So I think that, you know, left tackle, right tackle dilemma is changing. Um, so it's, there's really nowhere to hide. What kind of honor is it to, to be the guy to crack that barrier, especially uh, yeah. when it was your first time? I mean, typically, it, ta it takes it a yeah. while. Yeah, I feel, you know, it feels good. Um, you know, I, I hope it puts the right tackles in the spotlight because, I mean, there's a lot of good right tackles out there um, you know, that are deserving as well. So maybe, that, maybe that'll change here in the, here in did, the did future. Did it dawn on you that, you know, typically in this league, once you get in once, you kind of get in by default Committee, yeah. In fact, like JP didn't work in the really kind of this year. Maybe yeah. Benefited, uh, yeah, I think it did. Yeah. I think if Joe Thomas or Jason would have been uh, healthy, I think I wouldn't have made it. I've been an alternate or something. Yeah. It's just, just how it is. But it's right, man. I really, you clearly, obviously, earned earned the right though. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, um, you know, it feels good to get in there, kind of break that. You know, it's been a goal of mine for a long time. So now it's just about staying consistent. How, you know, I know you've talked all year about this being one of your big goals, but just to be able to do it. How does that feel in terms of an accomplishment? It feels good, man, especially just you know, a lot of stuff I've had in previous years. Uh, been a lot of negative stuff you know, with me, so it feels good to you know, finally make a positive. And now it's just about being consistent and, and playing that way for, for a long time. You kind of put a percentage on it. How much of it is getting to where you are today, you know, his, his technique, is your motivation from what's happened, is everything else? I mean, a lot, I mean, a lot of it's from, you know, Statlin just developing. I mean, I've developed as a player, you know, for the past four or five years I've been here. And just, you know, stuff that's happened to me off the field, I think it's just been a huge motivator. Because um, I know what I can do. People know what I can do in here. It's just a matter of, of being out there with my teammates and, 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 and being responsible. Does Stout ever have you, or do you ever go back and look at your rookie film versus now? No, I don't, I don't like to, yeah, but I, I know what it looks like. Um, I was a guy out there playing timid, scared, scared to make a mistake. And... You know, it's really not even a comparison to me my rookie year. It's really trying to find out what the NFL is about. You know, I'm a you know brand new father to my rookie year. You know, coming you know number one over or number four overall pick. So I kind of think I kind of let distractions get to me instead of just playing. Brandon said one of the things that attracted him about this team was you playing alongside. Uh, you guys are both in the Pro Bowl now. What's mm -hmm. the relationship like? How are you guys able to dominate so much uh, the way you do on the right yeah, we're, side? We're good friends off the field, so um, just good chemistry. So I, mean, I think we think alike. So when it comes to the game, a lot of times we don't even have to say nothing because you know we understand each other. Just because um, you know we even li live close to me, so we're just hanging out all the time and kind of built a relationship since he's been here. So I mean, he helps me out a lot. I mean, there's not many guys that big that can that can do what he does.